Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Pocket, and this video I'm gonna show you how to downgrade from iOS 11.3 or 11.3 beta back to iOS 11.2.6. So let's get started. iOS 11.3 beta has been around for a while and I've seen many bugs with it and I would like to downgrade back to iOS 11.2.6 which is the most recent stable iOS stock firmware. This process can be very easy or hard depending on your situation but you need to do some few stuff before we are gonna dive into it. So let's go through it. First of all take your device and plug it into your computer and then launch iTunes. We're going to use iTunes to downgrade back to iOS 11.2.6. Then navigate to this little button here which indicates your device. Here you're going to see all your information of your device. And the very very first thing that I always recommend when you do such things, you need to back up all of your data from your device. This is a crucial step because if something goes wrong, basically not even something goes wrong but still you may lose all of your data so you definitely need to have a backup in case something goes really badly and you need to fully restore your phone in order to, to, to get it back to shape in order to restore the backup on your phone definitely take your time back up your stuff and after that come back to this video now after you've done that then navigate to this website right here which is called ipsw.me and you're going to use this website in order to download the ios 11.2.6 firmware so now, if you have an iPhone, then click on iPhone or an iPod or iPad or iPod or iPod or any, anything else and choose the appropriate uh, device you have. In my case, I have an iPhone and here you need to select the version of your device that you have. In my case, I have an iPhone 6, but in case you have an iPhone 7 or an iPhone Plus, you don't know what GSM and Global are. Global is for unlocked phones, which can work on any area of the world. And you have GSM, which is locked for one country specifically. But make sure to check that to, to select the appropriate version. But it doesn't really make that huge difference. So in my case, I have an iPhone 6. So I'm going to click on iPhone 6. And as you can see, only iOS 11.2.5 and 11.2.6 are signed by Apple. So that means I, I am able to, to go back to iOS 11.2.6. So I'm going to click on iOS 11.2.6. And then I click, can click on download. After you have downloaded then go back to iTunes and then if you are on a Windows computer then hold shift or control key I can't remember which one of those is and then click on check for update or if you are on a Mac then hold down alt and click on check for update then select the most recent iOS firmware you have just downloaded which is 11.2.6 in my case your case will be the same and then click on open and then click on update and then it's a great time to sit back, relax until this process is done and I'll be back as soon as it's finished. Alright guys, so now the process is done. As you can see here it says iOS 11.2.6 and all of my data are on my iPhone. As you can see here it says all of which kind of data are on my phone and I didn't really need and to, to restore anything since all of my data are here. But in your case, if you are stuck on the iTunes logo or your phone for some reason does a reboot or things like this, then I have some videos down in the description which is worth to check in this situation so you can save your phone and since you have a backup already done onto your iTunes then you can factory restore your phone and then restore your backup back to your phone and you're gonna have a brand new device with iOS 11.2.6 latest stock firmware with all of the data restored so it's, so it's going to take some time but you're definitely gonna get to this point where I am right now in order to restore your backup, simply click on the restore backup button and then all the data will be restored once you factory reset your phone. And that brings you to this video. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit the like button if you like this video. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about this video. Share this video with your friends. And as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are a new visitor to this channel and you would like to watch more videos like this.